Let's talk about the iPhone Compass app and all of the things you need to know about it, like how to calibrate it, how to use it properly, and what are the possible problems you may have with it. So whatever the case may be for you, hopefully you will find something useful in this video. The first and probably the most important thing when it comes to uh, the uh, uh, Compass app and all of the stuff are magnetic cases. A lot of people use some sort of cases, protective stuff, whatever it may be, that you that uses some sort of magnetic technology to slap like the front piece or whatever. And the thing is that in theory it could interfere with the Compass app. Like it depends of course on the way you use it, it depends on the strength of the magnets, it depends on your iPhone type and all other things. But if you really want to get the most out of the Compass app, if you really and seriously need to use it, just ditch the case and just go with something usual like a rubber or, or leather case and you'll be good, you don't have to worry about anything. But on the other hand, if you really want the case and you only use Compass occasionally, then I think that it should be okay, but you may not get the most accurate results all the time and it may be slightly miscalibrated. I don't believe that it's going to cause any harm to the phone or anything like that, but the results of the Compass app are probably not going to be guaranteed to be 100% correct. So before we actually dive into the calibration process and some of the things that you should change and tweak in the settings, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, then consider subscribing. Like, honestly, it sounds kind of corny when people say it all the time, but it really does help the channel. It really helps you stay updated, even though the YouTube subscription box doesn't always work the best, but you still get notified and you don't really miss the next uploads and the next videos. So yeah, consider doing that. Okay, but the most important thing that you have to do in the settings in order to make sure to peak the performance of your Compass app is to simply open up the settings, of course, and go to the privacy section right there. You're going to have to scroll down a bit. So tap on it and now go to location services and here you can see each app and you can choose if you want to use it and stuff like that. Of course, you may see Compass right there. Um, I keep it on uh, uh, like the setting while using the app. I want to give it access to my location only when I use the app. But yeah, you can keep it for like ask next time, but don't use it on never. It doesn't really make sense. And then precise location allows it to use specific location. And when this is off, um, apps can only determine your approximate location. So uh, with Compass, you want to have the location as precise as possible. So keep this turned on. The precise location and while using the app should and are probably the best options. Next, come back and scroll all the way to the bottom and you should see the system services. So click on it and again, look for the compass calibration and make sure that it is turned on. Um, by default, I believe that it is turned off. So make sure to turn it back on just to get the, the best performance and just to get the most out of the compass app. That's like the whole point of this video. Another thing or another setting that you should change is within the actual compass app, I know it's everything is kind of all over the place. I get it. It's kind of weird thinking about it now. Like three compass settings are in three completely different places within the settings, but whatever. Just come back to this um, settings main section and scroll to see the compass app. It should be somewhere around here and just click on it and use true north. So make sure that this is enabled. It kind of makes sense to have it this way. Plus you can also access the location settings I talked about earlier, right from this section if you want. So this is kind of up to you. But yeah, make sure that the true north is actually turned on. If you completely don't understand what it means, well, the true north is the direction that points directly towards the geographic north pole. And it is the fixed point on the globe. Whereas the magnetic north or the option which is enabled when you turn off the true north. It's, it just means that the magnetic north is the direction that the compass needle points points to as it aligns with the Earth's magnetic field. 
it's kind of different. I'm not an expert in this field, but I've heard and people simply recommend using the true north and it's it's like a fixed point on the earth on the globe so i guess that it makes more sense i mean to me at least and people use it and recommend using that and turning that on so that's why i also mention it so this would be it you can also like download some third-party apps but i don't really see a reason to do so like when a when a basic app like this is implemented within the, the ios and it has the best access to all of the stuff and all of the sensors and everything then i believe that using the stock apple compass app would probably be the best idea even though you can get similar results from like third-party apps but i personally would stick with uh the apple stock app as long as you don't really miss any crucial functionality that the third-party app would provide i would simply stick with this one it's basic but it works and i believe that it works the best it's kind of brave to say that but in my opinion it really it really does work the best okay now, this is the end of this video. I want to say thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And for more videos like these, make sure to subscribe so you never miss future videos and updates. Thanks a lot for your support and see you guys later.